I painted this all over with primer and then done a second coat of silver, which is going to be the base coat of the final coat and rather important final design. But I could just continue painting, but at this point I'm going to add little strips of masking tape. Oh God, I'm getting worried. Okay, I'm going to add little bits of masking tape which is going to be used to show the damage of it being old and having the paint worn off without actually having to go through the silver paint because we don't want this being fluorescent colours at the end but we still want it looking old. So, rip off small parts. Small. Rip off little bits of the tape. Don't forget to fold over the edges on the tape when you stick it on so you can pull it off more easily. Well, fold over the end so you can rip it off more easily. Because you are going to be ripping it off eventually. way of distressing it and we'll make it well it's a way of distressing it and we'll make it look like the paint has just been torn up to the bare metal underneath which is what the silver coat is supposed to be there for Now, to the point, I've never tried this idea before, so I never tried this idea before, so I have no idea how it's going to come out looking. But you know, you never find out unless you try things. Otherwise, if you want to make it look new, don't bother with this section. Just go spray it green. Got some more paper. This time I'm going to draw. So I've got... This time I'm going to draw the semicircle first. <laughs> I'm sure it will come out as just as so much of a disaster, but. Finally, a circle. And check it on the mini new of course, see if it covers the right amount for the little red bit on top. Right. Then, in the original design, there is a yellow ring around the top, just below the, uh, well, just below the red, which I imagine had black on originally as a caution, and some small triangles facing upwards. Get some masking tape. This, this stuff, not expensive or anything. I would say I use much smaller strips than I just used because then it ends up all embarrassing because it doesn't go straight. This straight object on round surface is never going to go well.
sort of circle. As you can see, there's a ring around the top. Now, I would say we're going to have to do the same for the triangles later because we're currently covering over where they are with masking tape. So, right. Right. As you can see, when I sprayed it, the paint did go over the masking areas and into the areas. It's well, here is it's not supposed to, so I'm going to have to do well. I'm going to have to touch it up with the green or with the green paint that I used underneath. Yes, so I hope this works. Let my battery still dies soon. Okay, just get some of the paint, spray it into the lid. It will take the hand screen <laughs> and just carefully paint over the areas that you didn't want the yellow paint to be in. I've got half of it in here in my case. The alternative to this painting, of course, is to not make the mistake in the first place. Normally you'd let it dry, but in this case I'm going to run out of battery and you know, probably want to use another charge. So now just remove the bit, you know, remove the tape that you put on at the start to make it look damaged. If you don't, if you want it to look original and new, then you know, less tape. Well, no tape.
I say, I don't see why people haven't been taking more care with these things over 200 years. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a militarized nuclear weapon. Why would you not take care of it? Or keep it in your house. Okay. And... Sorry, just putting some little bits for the others sprayed around and yeah. And one mini nuke. I would say suitable for taking out super mutants and death claws, but I wouldn't advise it with this one because it wouldn't hurt anything. <laughs> 